Hey everyone, how's it going? Octopus here. Welcome back to 7 Daily Sins Grand Cross. We're talking about the bingo board and how important it is to do this properly if you don't want to waste a bunch of your gold coins and silver coins. You are going to use them, maybe depending on how lucky you are or unlucky you are, near the end of the event, but only near the end. And I mean the end, the last day, the last whatever. Yeah, last day. It wouldn't be last hour because it would be your last collectible of those tokens. So I'm going to explain the entire bingo board. There's a really free-to-play way to go with this and you don't have to spend any silver or gold coins if you aren't too unlucky so let's jump in and let me show you what i'm talking about so this is part of the 100 day celebration uh this is very very straightforward let me just double make sure this is uh actually recording because this isn't recording yeah this is recording okay good because there's a one-time try for this and if anything i can just edit tomorrow but it's probably gonna be too late by then but to find the bingo event you just click on the 100 day celebration go all the way to the top left of your screen you can see mine over here right beside me <laughs> you click on this and you click on the bingo event Global 100 day celebration and here it is. There's another way to get into this and tell what your total is. Uh, let me explain that before we jump into that part. On the same area in the top left, you see where these banners kind of switch in and out. Click on that and go to events. Under events, you're going to see uh, 100 day bingo event. You can get to the event through that, but there's another thing here that says 100 day bingo drops. And it's going to have your total over here saying how many you collected. You can collect at 30 of these every day. And these are currently in your inventory. Don't sell them. They are not used for anything else except for the bingo. Uh, they are right, I think, in miscellaneous. Yeah, here we go. So I have a total of 30. You can get 30 every day for the entire event. So with a total of 23 on June 23rd is when it ends. So there should be a total of two weeks, which means 30 each day. You're going to get about 420 of them. So with 420 of these, you're going to go into here and you're going to use these to draw numbers. Do not push this red button until this entire bingo board is done. So with 30 of these every day, you click on draw numbers. Select numbers is going to be your duplicates afterwards. So when we draw numbers, we're going to draw numbers. And if your numbers match, just like bingo, it's going to fill up this square here and you're going to get the corresponding row. So if you get 7, 13, 16, 25, and 9, you'll get that blue awakening stone times 3 over there. If you get 23, 4, 17, 22, and 8, you'll get the horns over here. If you get 7, 4, 25, 18, you'll get this purple stone down here to make you our gear. You want to get every single piece, and it is possible to get every single piece for all seven boards. This board plus six more. So same thing, diagonal, full, clear. And if you fully, fully clear, you get all bingo, you get SSR, and the next one will be anvils and so on and so on. So this is what you do. You get 30 a day, and you draw your numbers. So I'm going to draw 10 numbers right here. It's going to spin just like bingo, and all this is going to come out. Boom, I got 5, 13, yada, yada, yada. But you can see I got dupes. I have two 32s, three twos, and then one of everything else. And this is very important. So after you do that first 10 draw, you're going to go back to your board. And my board got completed this much. So I got pretty lucky. Out of 10, I got three, six, eight, eight of these. So I'm going to do another 10. And don't worry about the board just getting dupes because duplicates do not disappear. They're used for the next boards. So I got all these numbers here. And the only dupe I got was four. Uh, not too important right now, but let's see what we got. We haven't cleared anything. We haven't got bingo yet. So we're missing like one for a couple of rolls here, one over here. So let's use my last 10 now. You can do singles too. It uh, doesn't really matter. Do what you want as long as you have them there. So I got all these. Let's go check my bingo board. And I got pretty lucky. So I've now unlocked all this. 35 anvils, 5 horns, 2 of this, which is really cool to see in here. And I got the chalice there. So that's how lucky I got on this one. Now I need 14, 25, 16, and 1, but I'm out of numbers. Do not go purchase numbers. So if you notice here, select numbers, you're going to notice there's little check marks down. Not check marks, but you can see there's a little number 1, 0, 1. Some of them might say 2, some might say 3, depending on your luck. But these are the duplicate numbers you got. So if this board actually needed 22, I could click on that and choose to use it for this board. So when I reset it, all those duplicates can be used for the other ones. So the main goal here is to keep collecting your your uh, your little, what do you call these, tokens? I'm going to call them tokens, yeah. The little tokens over here to draw every day. Do not switch the board over to the next board. Complete this board. There is a way of getting more of this. Uh, so own numbers, that's the ones you have. You can go into the shop and purchase them, but do not do that. Just keep every day 30 tokens. Go and go and go. That's 420 tokens out of 
I think you need a total of 25 per board. So 25, 50, 75, 100. You've got 175 of these to complete. So 175 out of the 420 you get will go towards all of the boards. So if that was a little confusing, it is. Um, uh, there's five rows and there's five rows up. So five times five is 25. You got 25 pieces you need to collect here. If you get a total of 30 of these each day, after the two weeks, you're going to have 420 numbers that you can use. If you get seven of each number, then that means you completed all seven boards because these numbers will carry over when you push that reset button over here. Don't push this until this board is done. So tomorrow I'm going to come here, draw 30 numbers. If, I, if these four all match, boom, I'm done the board, I'll reset it. If I don't, I'll wait till the next day for another 30 and then the next day for another 30. And while you're doing that, you get to keep all these numbers for the next bingo board. So don't be afraid to just wait. It's not going to waste them. At the end, if you do not get seven of every single number here, uh, you don't need seven. You need six plus the ones that are on your board already. So it's going to say six on all of these plus the ones you use here. So if that all says six on there, then that means you complete the entire event and you'll complete every single bingo board. But if you don't and you get to the last bingo board, whatever you're missing, that's when you go into the coin shop. Click on coin shop and you can see for gold coins, you can buy two of these bingo exchange tickets for one gold token. Now, this is a little bit hurting, but gold tokens, eventually you're just going to be maxing out random characters for associations once you do Arthur. So it's not that big of a deal, um, but you just want to get super lucky in silver. You can buy these coins. I don't recommend that 420 is more than enough to complete at least six of the boards. You'd have to be super unlucky and it might happen. So if it does happen, just rely on the gold tokens. If you don't have a lot of gold tokens, then you can go to your RNG, but that's a one out of 25 chance to get the number you need because there's 25 numbers and you have one token per pull. So you might not get it. I just did 30 tokens and I didn't complete a whole board of 25. So it depends on your RNG, but that is the bingo event. Don't get so uh, like, I got to do it right now. I got to complete it. Oh, I didn't do it today. So I got to push, uh, go purchase one, two, three, four, four tickets which equals two golden uh coins don't do that just wait let it pile up and then you guys are good to go from there so that's the entire bingo board to sum this up and just in case i was too complicated as i went there's 25 numbers you get 30 tokens a day to draw those tokens uh are used to get new numbers and those numbers cannot be wasted just keep pulling 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 until this board is done then claim all your rewards and then reset it. And then when you get to the next bingo board, you can actually just select your numbers and you're good to go because they don't waste. They go into your pocket for the next one, which is pretty cool. So it's not like actual bingo where you have to be live and doing it all there. So, and if you guys are wondering where you get the bingo stuff uh, for the bingo, those little tokens I use to draw numbers, you get them for just completing the stages. I think it's either... So in the forums, it says all free stages, death matches, and you can get 30 per day. So only doing free stages and your death matches will you be able to unlock this. Uh, the other ones are for the tickets to buy cosmetics in the shop. So completing forts, uh, the SP dungeon, or boss battles. So death matches are the way you guys want to go for this one. That's a tons of rewards. Death matches are basically just... So to collect those tokens for the bingo, you go into battle, you go to boss battles. Boss battles give you the other token you need to exchange for cosmetics. We're defeating the raid boss. That's a death match. So death match is completing the raid boss. You'll get it from that or completing free stages, which is AKA farming for accessories, mats, food, any of the stages that are around the town that don't count towards the death battle area. So this won't count because that's a boss battle, but all these areas around the towns is what counts as free stages. So farming your food, farming gear, or farming awakening mats will get you those 30 tokens. So make sure to do a little bit of all that. That's the bingo event, guys. Hopefully, I saved you some gold tokens and silver tokens and explained how this event works. Because at face value first, it was a little bit confusing. But then when you start playing, you're like, oh, okay. So then everything just gets saved. So that is the entire bingo event. Good luck, guys. I hope you guys get a bunch of those uh, blue awakening stones, anvils, and the stuff to make your UR set maxed out, which is pretty cool that they put it in there. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll smell you later.